Hi everyone, welcome back. Nicole here with Edge of Wild. I garden in upstate New York, zone like 4A, 3B, somewhere in there. Um, and this is my seed unboxing for the year. So I ordered everything through Johnny's. I picked up some of my pumpkin and gourd seeds from Runnings, which is a local store here. Um, I think it's a bigger chain, but there's only a handful that I know of in New York State. And then I did order a couple of seeds and some gladiolus that I have coming from um, Eden Brothers. So I'll go over what I got at Eden Brothers first. I ordered two packets of the cupcake pink mix for zinnias. And those ones are supposed to be like more cupcake like like big and poofy 3d like i'm excited for them um i've seen some before but i really want to grow some of my own to add to bouquets and then i could not find the gloriosa rebecca seeds at all on johnny's i think they were i don't even remember oh they were sold out on johnny's so i ended up buying some from eden brothers i'm hoping end up just as good and then I also got some Goldilocks Rebecca as well from Runnings. I ordered, or I ordered, I picked up some Daisy Gourds, just some ornamental ones, um, mini Harvest Blend pumpkins. Baby Boo, which are some white pumpkins. Jack B. Little, which are little orange pumpkins. They're really tiny. Those are all the little ones. Those are all ones that I'm hoping to grow on trellises in the garden because that works out really, really well. I also have Blue Doll, which are a, they're like a green, large pumpkin. I think good for stacking. I ordered a giant Big Max pumpkin seed. We'll see. I have never had huge luck growing big carving pumpkins, but I'm hopeful. This is a Casper, so it's a medium size white pumpkin. This is a Cinderella, so it's kind of like a like a blood red orange color. Also good for stacking. And then a small green one called a Jardel. Uh, and Howdens, which are just a really good like carving pumpkin. All hoping to decorate out my porch. We have two growers here that are like within three miles of me uh, that grow pumpkins. I like to stop at both and get some from there. It's I I enjoy taking the kids. It's part of the experience to go out to their operations and pick out pumpkins and see everything they have. So I really just grow them for myself and entertainment. And then I did pick up some double Cosmo seeds. So I'm excited to try those out. Um, I never have great luck with them in bouquets, but they do make really good filler, like the foliage. And then if you pick them at the right stage, they do pretty good. They do, they can get messy, so I don't really love to put them in customer bouquets. I harvested a whole bunch of poppy seed last year. So I have a large amount of poppy seed so I can sprinkle that out wherever I want. I actually was thinking about doing like planting some wild and seeing how it goes. Um, I have all of the, like the lavender chunks still in here but down here there's some lavender seed that came out so I think I'm gonna try to germinate it and see if it grows. Really just because I ended up letting it go to seed last year I'm curious. I'm also curious if it's going to come back. But every year I'm curious if it's going to come back. Because when I bought the packet, it said annual. Meaning it shouldn't come back. But I bought it in 2019 and it's the same plants out there. So, fingers crossed those continue to come back. Um, let's see. Okay, so on to my Johnny's order. And this is going to be a mix of vegetables and flowers. So I have my blue glitter Eurygium and like the packets are 
boring. I will pop up pictures, so I don't think I'm gonna hold up every packet because it's gonna get old fast. Okay, so blue glitter, Eurangium. I got two packets of that. Then I have Status, I have the Pastels mix. I have white glitter, Eurangium. Um, I'm gonna save the zinnias and do them all together. Same with the Snapdragons. I have Walla Walla onions. I'm excited to get those started here shortly. I have a mix of straw flowers. There were a whole bunch of colors. I really like them. I'm curious to dry more and offer dried flowers, but I like sneaking them into bouquets and then telling customers, hey, by the way, if you save those, they will dry really nicely. Um, I have Sunday Bright Pink Celosia. I have Sunday Orange Celosia. That whole rest of those were snaps. I have Sugar Cube Cantaloupe. This is going to be my first year trying cantaloupe. I had decent success with the Kajari Melon last year, so I'm excited. I have, I saved some seed from the Kajari Melon, so I'm, I'm going to plant those, see how those go. I'm excited to see the cantaloupe and how that goes. I'm also hoping my children like it, but I spend most of my time hoping my children like whatever it is I grow with mild success. I have Fama Deep Blue Scabiosa, uh, or Pincushion Flower. I'm gonna save tomatoes too. I ordered some Persian Crest to try out. Ordered some spaghetti squash. So let's see, those are more snaps. Oh, I had the Fama White Scabiosa Pincushion Flower. I got Bright rose straw flower I have Amazon sometimes I can talk Amazon neon purple uh, Dianthus so like sweet Williams this is pelleted seed pelleted's not my favorite actually um, but that was all that they had when I went to order I got cinnamon basil for the first time, so I'm going to grow that. I am hopeful to use it like as foliage, but I'm also curious as to how it smells. Like Nicole at Flower Hill says it smells wonderful and loves it, so I'm curious how that one comes out. Um, I got the Art, Shade, Art Shades Flax Mix. Again, I'm going to try planting those farther apart this year. Uh, ordered some more lemon basil. Patterson, yellow onions. This is what I've grown for the last four years. I really like them. They store pretty decently. I really need better storage for my vegetable crops. But regardless, they're really good. They store well. Then I have Feverfew. I went with the uh, Tetra White. The germination is only like 80, it's 79% on this packet. They're not necessarily the very best in terms of germination but they look really good like I like them so we are gonna try that uh, Rebecca seeds these ones are also pelleted these are the prairie sun they have the green centers if I remember right uh, Amazon neon cherry sweet Williams oh um, gladius Brussels sprouts, which are a new variety to me. I've grown, I think I ordered some more of them. Um, maybe they're just, I have some left over. Is it Dagon? I think it's a Dagon variety of Brussels sprouts is what I have always grown, but I'm almost out of seeds, so I ordered more new ones. I dropped that. Pause. Found it. Really need to not throw stuff around. That's another Snapdragon. Um, Amazon Neon Rose Magic. Sweet Williams. I ordered the Sunball. Is it Carspedia? Carspedia? Those are the little, like, yellow globes. They look like little suns. Ordered 
Katrina cucumbers, Indian summer Rebecca because those are just an awesome, they do great, like there's very reliable. Um, Pompous plume Silosia. I have pro cut peach sunflowers, pro cut orange sunflowers. Uh, pro cut golden gold light sunflowers. Pro cut white night sunflowers. Flower burst red shades yarrow. This was like the more vibrant color one because the one I have is a lot more pastel pastels and I've also heard like the older it gets the more it turns to more whites or loses its vibrancy so I'm gonna see if that's the case and I lose a lot of color out of my yarrow I'll probably pull the stuff in the garden out and then replace it um I want to say it's like every three to four years you should do that with cut with yarrow you're cutting anyways I have some butternut winter squash I went with the butterscotch variety and then king size red straw flowers i think that's all my little packets so snapdragons which is what i'm going to be working on starting today i feel like i have some somewhere else i might have some in the other box um madame rose butterfly rose so this one is the butterfly snapdragons I have Bridal Pink, Costa Rose 2, the Potomac Apple Blossom, Costa Silver, Orleans Early Yellow, or Early Lemon Yellow, which is a really pretty, like, light yellow. That one's done really well for me. Um, and then the Costa Velvet. And the reason I went with this one is I wanted something dark. I thought I had, oh, I think I have leftover. I have some of the mix, which was like pinks and reds um, and like some light pinks. And I was going to start that as well. I think I have snowflake leftover too. Yeah, that was the other one. Oh, the Potomac Berry Blend Mix. That was the one I have leftover. I'm going to start some more of that too. Um, that one wasn't one I ordered this year. And then ordered this year for zinnias. I think I have a total of 17 varieties. And I think I ordered them all. Two of them, or one of them, being the cupcake pink mix from Eden Brothers. But I have the queen red lime, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's like this gorgeous pinky with a little bit of lime in it. Cinderella peach, which I'm really excited to try. I've seen gorgeous pictures. Uh, giant wine, which did really well for me last year. I went with the Oklahoma salmon zinnia because I had, I think it was a salmon rose, like Benaria's salmon rose or something like that. It did not have strong stems. Like I could not get almost any cut off of it. The stems on it were so weak on both plantings that I had. Um, so I'm going to try the, the Oklahoma series and see if it's a little smaller flower, if it's a little stronger. Oklahoma pink, Benary's giant orange, Queenie lime orange. Apparently I ordered two packets of the giant orange. Queenie lime with blush. Uh, uh, Benary's giant scarlet. Benary's giant carmine rose, which is a really pretty pink. Uh, Benary's, again, I can talk. Benary's Giant Bright Pink. I told myself not to order this one, and I did. So when I'm complaining this summer about the fact that the Japanese beetles have annihilated specifically this color, I told myself not to order it, but I did. The Oklahoma Ivory. It's white. It's bright. Those, they love bright colored it's not gonna last. I if I get one flower, I'll be I'll be excited. The cactus flowering mix. Well, I'm excited about these ones because I really like the texture, and I think that's gonna add just a really cool variety to have a totally different textured flower. Uh, Queenie lemon peach. I'm excited for this one too. I have not grown this one yet. 
And then the Nary's Giant Lime, which I absolutely love the green one. Like, I think, I think green flowers are really cool just because they're just unexpected. And they're usually like a chartreuse. Love that about them. Oh. I also have some, some pea seeds that I saved from last year. I think they're sweet and is that the variety? Is it trigger sweet? I, I do not know. What I ordered this year, I ordered two packages of the Super Sugar Snaps and then one package of Strike Shelling Peas. Um, I usually shell all of my peas and I found that these Super Sugar Snaps are something that I can shell with relative ease. I picked up these Strike ones because they are supposed to have a sweeter flavor um, and still be a good shelling pea. So we will see how that works out. Planning to do, I mean, since I got a lot more, I'm planning to do a lot more peas in the garden and I'm planning to do a fall succession as well. Um, that's everything that I ordered this year or bought or is new. Oh, technic there's one more, there's tomatoes. I only ordered the San Marzano tomato. Reason that I ordered this one is it's really good for sauce and I've been doing a lot more sauces. So I wanted something that was a little bit more sauce specific and I wanted a red tomato. I've done a lot of colors in the past and that means I don't have as much red tomatoes when I go to do sauce and I'm always like, oh. Because yellow sauce does not look as appetizing. Um, yellow tomatoes are really good though. Trade off. So I ordered more red. That way I have more red tomatoes when I go to do that. And they're really built more for sauce because they're a lot more flesh and a lot less juice. But I still have all my other varieties um, that I'll show you as I get started planting them. So that's everything that I have. I am now going to get started putting dirt in all my containers so I can start my my first round of flowers, which are snapdragons and sweet williams. And I think my Brussels sprouts. Yeah. So here's to the beginning of the 2024 garden season. I'm excited to bring you along and show you how I'm doing things a little different this year and things that I am repeating. If there's anything you are curious about or want to know, let me know. I will link where I purchase my seeds um, in the com or in the description. Thank you for watching. I will hope to see you on the next one.